Do you want to build a prism? Come on, let's run and play. Just find the area of the base. Multiply by height. We haven't got all day. It gets a little tricky with pyramids. You have to divide by three. Do you want to find the volume? Big B, help me find the volume. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, after a snowfall that you just saw, Miss Estri built a snow prism. The prism had a square base with side lengths of four inches and a height of five inches. What was the volume of the prism? Let's think back to what Miss Estri said. To find the volume, we multiply the area of the base times the height. We use big B to help us. But what are we going to multiply to find big B? It says it's a square, so that means my two sides right here are four and four. So I'm going to multiply four times four for my big B, and then my height of five. That would be this right here. So four times four, what is four times four? 16. And then we're going to multiply times five. 16 times five. In case we don't remember off the top of our head, we can do it off to the side. Six times five is 30. Five times one is five, plus three is 80. That means our volume of the prism Miss Usry built is 80 inches cubed, or 80 cubic inches. So after Miss uh, Usry built our prism, Miss Rose went and built a pyramid with the same dimensions. What are dimensions? I can't remember. Hmm. I think that might be the length, the width, and the height. So for length and width, I'm going to look at my base. And that would be what our square was. Our square would find the area of the base times our height. That was our 4 times 4 times 5, which we found gave us 80. And this is where we have to remember. Remember, 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 for the pyramid, we divide by 3. So we're going to divide 80 by 3. 3 can go into 8 how many times? That's right, 2. 8 minus 6 is 2, and then we bring down our 0. 3 can go into 20 how many times? 6. And we get another 2. What can we do? Add our decimal and zeros. Bring down another zero. That's six times again. And what kind of decimal do we know this is going to be? A repeating decimal. So we can put a bar over it. Let's look back on our question to make sure we answered it. What is the volume of Mrs. Rose's pyramid to the nearest cubic inch? So we are going to round our decimal. To the nearest cubic inch, our volume would be 27 inches cubed, or 27 cubic inches. You know?